games here. Bringing you another guide on progressing through BDO on console. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the infinite pop piece. More in particular, the MP or WP. So your magic um, power potion. <coughs> so more in particular, we're doing the oven step. Now in steps in Kim Sylvia, just east of Grana, where this giant griffin is. So <clears throat> the two pieces that drop here for this pop piece is called Volterra Memory, Volterra's Memory, and Volterra's Ancient Volterra's Clairvoyance. So this is the piece, this is the full piece, the Ancient Volterra's Clairvoyance. If you don't get lucky enough to get it, you'll need a hundred of the Volterra's Memory. To turn it into that. <clears throat> so there's two, well, technically there's four mobs, but it's really the same mob, just two different versions of it that can drop this. <clears throat> so first we're going to talk about the mobs that will drop it. So the mobs that drop it are Farina and, uh, where's the other one? Uh, Farika. So when, when grinding this mob particularly, go to the Farika, hit it once, to save yourself some time, <clears throat> and it will gather a bunch of them. This is the fastest way to uh, grind this piece. So there's two ways you can get this piece. You can get the drop from killing the mob. Not as common, in my opinion. The other is by tanning them. We're going to go into this in a second. <clears throat> but I was just showing you a little trick of how to gather that mob so it's more efficient for you. Um, all right. Now the other mob that you want to grind is in the same area. It's not that far. Is the Beldana elephants? So there's the baby ones that drop it, and then you have the just the Beldana elephant. So out of the two, the the Freka and the Freenas are easier to farm because these guys have a lot of CC. And they always find you. Well, I should just kill them really quick. That's not a problem. So, after you kill them, there's two ways, like I said, you can get this. You can either get it from killing them, which you do have a chance, but you have a higher chance of getting the Voltaire's memory by gathering. So, you can, this is the one piece that's a little different. You can get this, you get this piece from two different ways. You get it from also gathering. Now, <clears throat> there's a lot of myths that talk about. The gathering mastery mastery does matter here so if you get it from the tanning way you can get two pieces two Voltaire's memory in, in a drop if you have the mastery so right now on my striker I'm rocking about 950 mastery <clears throat> with all my gear but I'm using I'm not using a, a mastery tanning knife I'm using the tanning knife you can get from Ellie She's usually by Fugar. Um, she has the she's the Oasis Fenner, so she gives you a Demir tanning knife, which gives you an eighty percent drop um, thing, which gives you a better chance of getting um, drops. So this is one of the pieces, or this is one of the people uh, mobs that drop it, and the Farinas are the other. So if you have the mastery, you could get two when you tan it. Now normally you just get one when you kill the mobs, right? <clears throat> In all the places. Unless you're doing the weekly. But here's a little different. You can get two if you have the mastery. Now, I was doing it on my Megu yesterday. I was doing this a bit, and when I was getting it, when I was doing the tanning part, I only ever got one Volterra's memory. And so I came here with my striker <coughs> um, yesterday, and I realized when I put on my mastery stuff, because my Megu's on my season, I started noticing something that there, there is a difference. You can get two when you drop it. So it does make a, a huge difference to have that mastery. It was just a little trick or a little insight that most people are not sure about. <clears throat> maybe I, I'll grind for a little bit to maybe see if I can get a drop. Now... Of all the places, I would definitely say this place 
would drop the fastest as far as like getting the pity pieces because when you get the pity pieces if you have the mastery when you're doing it the tanning way you're getting two pieces instead of one so i know if you have 950 you can get two so i know that for a fact because i do it <clears throat> when i do get it um I don't know what the cutoff is when it changes from one to two, but I do know if you don't have high mastery, you will only get one piece. Uh, another thing, it's also worth um, being here right now, as I will have another guy talking about tier five pet. This is one of the items you need for that piece. You need to, you need to gather these feathers from for tanning. So. <clears throat> That's important too. So you get two birds and one stone basically. And eventually you probably want to get this piece in the Volterra. Uh, the MP pot. So the, the difference between MP and HP is you can't make many versions of that uh, MP pot. You can only make the whole pot piece. And so that means you need the full piece from Novin Step, Mansions, and to share ruins. <clears throat> So right now we're just going to go and try and grind a little bit before I finish the video to see if I can get to drop. So there's not really any big crazy rotation here. My suggestion when, if you're doing the, this section with the bird over the, the elephants is go to the Freakas, hit it once, like I said earlier. He, he'll gather all the birds in one location. And since it's a bit different on console that it is on PC, we don't have the luxury where we can be super far away and gather things with our mouse. So this is the easiest and most efficient way to gather quicker in this area. Because it, the bird gathers them all in one spot, you just kill them and you're basically just sitting and barely moving. And some people that wouldn't make a big difference, but for those that do care about efficiency, it, it does make a big difference. Whereas elephants also, <coughs> group up. I would definitely say start with the baby uh, the baby elephant if you're going to start in that mob. So they'll start rallying. The elephants you don't really have to do much because any of the elephants you hit they kind of all go to each other's aid. So <clears throat> we'll just do this a few times. I think getting Voltaire memory a good amount today. Every like 20 or so minutes, I think I would get a drop or so, but I was getting two, so technically it was like two and 20 minutes. So, and I, I only started yesterday on this area, and I I uh, yesterday, and I already have um, I got six, and then I have six from today. I'm already at 12. <clears throat> and and I would have probably had more had I realized about the mastery thing. But I was just trying to waste energy for my, for my Megu. So I'm going to also do another video later today about time piecing. <clears throat> so hopefully my energy is on my side so I can show you guys that, I'm, that you can get the two. have a couple minutes spare. Um, <clears throat> one thing with the infant poppies, I would definitely say worry about getting the, the MP pot second. You should really worry about the, the health pot first if you're going to worry about it. So the only reason why I'm here doing this guy first of all the places is one, I was doing my tier 5 pet and then I figured I'll use some energy here why might as well since I haven't really grinded at Nomin Step. And I figured, well why not share what I have known but also learned why I grind here to help your life easier, make your lives easier for the grind. <coughs> that is already can be either very lucky where it's quick or very annoying where it takes long. We're just tanning, tanning. <clears throat> um, 
I also want to thank everyone for the support they've been given. Uh, I appreciate all the views and comments and stuff that I've been getting on my, on my Twitch, but <clears throat> also in my YouTube reviews. I appreciate it a lot. So, see, they just gather real quick. I'll show you after I tan these ones the difference if you just kill a Farina. So, I reckon... Um, no, I don't want to gather the yellow flower. I, I don't know why they don't gather. I guess it's because the freak is kind of like their boss or their leader. And so they when they call, they just get everyone to come to them. <coughs> no. Oh, man. I've done that many times. Watch out. Pay attention a little bit when you're grinding or tanning, because sometimes we'll get a grass piece that you're gathering. Okay. So. It's here. Now, I'm going to be honest. I think, I believe the elephants are have the higher drop rate, but it's easier to do the birds. But it's not like much. I feel like the birds are more more than efficient enough. Um, for at least for me. I mean, I have better RNG. I'm averaging like one pity piece, like an hour with full buffs at Blood Wolf. So <clears throat> me getting two p pieces in like 20 minutes. It's very sufficient to me. <laughs> it's not saying much though. That's just the trauma I've been inflicted upon for doing blood wolves. I'm at 91 pieces there. Okay. So I definitely remember to. So I don't know how it would be for your classes or what your AP is. I'm just using my gathering outfit on. I have all my gathering stuff. I have my Manos uh, gathering clothes. If you don't have Manos, go log you. Anything will help. Gives you higher mastery. Then I have like the log stuff. And I have the full Mars belt, right? Um, I just have that on because I can kill them fine without the armor. So it's not a big deal. I'm not struggling, so I can just. I don't need to have armor. But if you are struggling and you need to put the armor on, just remember to swap it before you start gathering. Because you won't have the mastery unless you have <coughs> that gathering outfit on. Um, of course, when I want the piece to drop, it's not going to drop. And then I. As soon as I end this video, because I'm not going to do this forever, the, the piece is going to drop. I already know. Right now. Or what I can do is I, I can like cut out, not cut out because I, I haven't been editing, but basically short circuit to the part where I get the drop. <clears throat> so I'll just put like skip. Unless you want to see me grind it. That's also cool too. Fairy's breath. Come on. Earlier I wasn't getting any Caffer stones. So this is kind of strange. RNG, give me the drop. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> I was getting 
all morning earlier. Well, not like all morning, but I got like six. It's quite early. Oh. I think it's gonna drop here. I feel it. Also, I have my, um, the blessing orb. You know, the one you got for the season. I have that on. I don't have any other buffs other than my combat book. And. Basically, we're just trying to wait for this. Where's my pads? Okay. <clears throat> Again. Kill these guys. Are you gonna drop it? Oh yeah, give me everything but what I'm trying to. And that's the thing, you can't improvise on this, unless you're like, just streaming the whole time, and since I'm trying to make a video, um, being blocked, alright, <coughs> I mean, I guess it gives me an opportunity to like, talk a little bit about some aspects. So, they're not hard to kill, they're easy. Uh, I would definitely say this is probably one of. Oh, I don't want them. Really? Sometimes you kill like little things from there. Also, like, a lot of the guides um, will say that mastery doesn't matter, but, I mean, I can tell you firsthand, I went here with lower mastery, and I got one piece when doing the tanning part, and then when I came here with my striker, I was getting two pieces when I was getting the tanning piece. So... Oh, one more. Okay. Get the also, uh, <coughs> keep the, um, the wind spirit stones that you get because you can make pure forest breath which is the piece you need for your horse all right i'll give it another two minutes if i don't get in two minutes then i will just end the video I, I believe the forest breath is for dream horse. So they're all dream horse, but like the unicorn horse, I mean. The forest breath helps you get the, the unicorn, <coughs> I believe. Mm. This one. Are we getting it to drop? I don't know. Yeah. To be fair, I wasn't planning to get the drop on the video. I just thought, I'd, since I was able to get the core of it done, I'll try and get the, it to drop maybe. So you guys can see. 
see. <clears throat> but I don't want to look. So if I don't get it, that's not a big deal. Just know I'm telling the truth, alright? I wouldn't mess with you guys. So we'll do this group and then we'll do one more. Unless, of course, it drops here. I think Gore's in the chat. He's gonna give me his RNG here, right? Give me that RNG, Gore. Alright? Right here. So that people can see it. <laughs> I mean, you'll find it, it if I don't, even if I don't. Move. So this is the last pack up. And now I'm. So I just want to thank everyone for watching and tuning in and <clears throat> supporting the channel. We'll have a bunch of content coming out in the next couple days. Got a bunch of videos I have planned and prepared already, so I know there was a couple of days where I hadn't made any videos. <coughs> but back on that that grind. Oh uh, no it's not gonna let me okay there we go. Well I got an event crystal. Nope, we didn't get it. Okay. Well, it didn't drop, but I do know it does drop in twos. And I can, no, it's not going to be here because it's too much. Thank you for stopping by. Hope the guide helped you. Uh, enjoy. Thank you for supporting. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and follow. You can catch me on Twitch and Crafty Games. Have a wonderful day.